Good day, friends. I hope you're doing well. It's Frankie Rose. Well, I'm wondering if you guys remember the little guy that was found in a suitcase back in April. Well, his cause of death has come out. And what they're saying is that he died from an electrolyte imbalance. The metal, medical examiner said the imbalance was most likely due to viral gastronitis, which is caused from excessive vomiting or diarrhea or both. So police are still working to identify this little boy who is believed to be about five years old. He did not get to the woods in a suitcase all by himself. So if anybody has any idea, now might be a really good time to say something. The toxicology test came back negative. And he had no severe injuries, and he was clean, well-clothed, and looked cared for. Mushroom hunters found him, and it's in that area that he came across that hard-shelled Welcome to Las Vegas suitcase. That was on April 16th. The little guy is described as under four feet and around 40 pounds with a slim build, a short haircut. He has not matched any of the missing children on any of the databases so far. And there's no match on any child that's missing. The investigators have not ruled out that the boy could have come from a different state or even out of the country. That's interesting. The community of Salem, close to where the little guy was found, planned a funeral for him on Wednesday, which will be live streamed to the funeral from the funeral home. The community donations have covered the costs. So this coming Wednesday, it looks like. That would be a very nice, respectful thing to do, is participate in that. I have no idea why somebody would do something like this. You know, unless maybe, like they're saying, maybe he's out of country. And, you know, maybe he's somebody who crossed the border illegally. Or the parents may have. So, yeah, there's lots of um, unanswered questions. If you happen to have any information, you, maybe you should contact your local police and or Indiana State Police and give them any kind of information that you know. One little piece could be all that they need. And, you know, this can't be unsolved. He cannot be unknown. Five years old, guys, like, may he rest in peace. And I pray that they find out his identity. So for now, guys, that's what I've got. If there's any changes, if they happen to find out who his parents are, I'll uh, do an update. But for now, no changes, basically, except for the uh, autopsy. But as far as any kind of identification, there's nothing new. So for now, I'll say cheers. I will talk to you soon, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.